Patreon member shout out. The Gogo Cock Putin Polaga Seal. The Gogo Cock Putin Stobini Peel. The Gogo Cock Putin Stobne Abijal. The Gogo Cock Putin Stobne Ubijal. The Gogo Cock Putin Polaga Seal. The Gogo Cock Putin Stobini Peel. Hey guys, how's it going? It is I, the real Randy Chavez. I'm coming at you today with a VV Omi update video. Guys, if you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. I love y'all. Everyone say hello to Dashi. Hello, Dashi. So, uh, why did I have uh, the Kogokak Putin? As there is no man like Putin, and he will uh, come into this video at some point. Not he himself, but um, he is affecting the crypto market at large. But before we get into the facts, let's get into some speculation over here. And again, I can't exactly say who this was from, but the uh, this is going to be a subject I call it, what if? So... Recently, we've been operating off of the thought that the Omi Utility program would be about 5% of the supply for drops. And if it is 5% of the supply for the drops, let's say out of 100,000, uh, uh, you know, like uh, NFTs that, that are, let's say, put into one drop, 5,000 are, are reserved for people in the OUP party betting points or betting Omi. But what if it's 33%? Let's uh, 33% of a 30,000 drop is 9,900. So if everybody does $50 in Omi for a wager where they can, you know, or buy tickets or whatever it ends up being, that's $100 million Omi burnt per drop. And that was as of yesterday. We've gone down since yesterday. And that's from circulation. So for comics, it'd be cheaper, of course, probably only about $5 wagers, but that's still 10 million Omi burnt. Now, Golden Moments would be even higher wagers, but have less supply. But I do think supplies will need to climb up. But that's what the downside of having one third split up for OUP and MCP is. It rewards token holders and collectors. But even if we get half of that, uh, like about 50 million OMI burnt, uh, about two to three times a week. Again, that's for major drops. We are going to have obviously comic book drops that are, like I said, not as much. Um, but if we go and, and we do that, that's uh, at some point we will have no more off days. And what I mean by that is there will be drops every single day. Um, and I, I might have mentioned this before, maybe it was in a stream, but I'll, I'll mention it again. That meme that says, one day you and your friends got together and rode bikes for the last time, and you didn't know it. Well, there's going to be one day where we're just, hey, there's no drop today. And then that would be the last day that we would have no drop. I'm just letting you all know, that will happen. So uh, continuing with the math, that's about 7 billion conservatively from circulation yearly, again, at these prices. And if we are in a bear market... Uh, you know, that um, we would burn even more OMI. Uh, plus staking lockups, which we haven't even mentioned yet. Actually, I might need to put more OMI in the app because currently I do not have enough for staking. I don't think. I might. I might. Um, but yes, if we are in a bear market, this can go a little low. And, and I will I will talk about that in a second. Um, but it would be it, this would stop bots even further as well because they'd have to buy OMI or collectibles to participate in the 66%, whether it's OUP or uh, betting OMI. Uh, da, da, da. Like a new user does need a chance, but buying OMI could be that chance. Uh, and if they lose on the OMI track, they don't lose money. Um, moving on here, we do have some more speculation. I, and we've just, not even speculation, looking at facts. Like look at Decentraland. Uh, about 90,000 plots of land they have, right? And the floor price is about $12,000. So the total market cap is about one, not even 1.1 billion, just under that. So it's about 200 billion uh, at 0 0.0055, or I'm sorry, 200 billion OMI at 0 0.0055. They said that OMI used to buy VVverse land would be completely burned from circulation. Decentraland has about two to 300,000 users, active users. We have 2.1 million monthly active users. So I have no doubt in my mind that if they just auctioned off land, it would go for at least the same floor prices as Decentraland. Burning two thirds of the entire circulating supply that combined with real utility and we're off. I know that some people don't want them to auction off land, but this is why I want them to. Again, this is a friend of mine. It says, I kind of want them to not give us any heads up about the utility that's implemented, keep the price really low, allow land auctions with Omi before the VVverse hits to keep prices low. Uh, and then burn as much as you can ASAP. Uh, this is all just to burn. I'm not trying to pump the price before then. Obviously, it'll pump after it though. So again, that that is for uh, some of the screenshots that I have. Uh, some other some other things I want to go over as far as news. Loki, I love this person. I love this man. Uh, if anyone watches Nostalgia Critic, he did a video on why is Loki so hot? Like why is he so 
beloved by many, and especially women. Um, so I love him. I love Alligator Loki. Comic did not do well at all. Comic is just like... <laughs> uh, the James Bond uh, motorcycle did much better. Uh, I do believe that a lot of the other comics are going to be doing pr fairly well. Uh, I think the first appearance of Killmonger. I, I don't even know if that's going to be today. Uh, today. Oh, no, today's Tuesday. We're good. We're good today. Um, we do have a Black Panther drop on Wednesday. That's going to be a big one, and I cannot wait for it. Well, why? Uh, because that's going to burn so much Omi. You know how much Omi we have? Uh, you, you know, uh, uh, let's, let's take a look. I haven't taken a look-see yet, uh, but let's go to the Bit4x and, and take a look at what we got. Also, uh, I do have some Earth 2 news I will get into in a second. That is... Like I said, one of the only things that I did not sell while investing in Omi, and for good reason. Uh, Omi actually raised up a little bit at 0 .0044. We were at sometimes at 0 .0042. Uh, a lot of people have been saying that we can go down to 0 .003, 0 .002. Again, we are in the bear market, but I digress. So as far as Earth 2, breaking. Essence supply to be capped at $5 billion, with the launch supply limited to current earned Essence, which stands at $112 million. So basically that... You know how we have a, a max circulating supply of 312 billion? Uh, the max essence supply will be at 5 billion for Earth 2. And again, why does this matter? This is really good for the metaverse at large. There's a lot of other news to go over why people going into the metaverse that short term vicissitudes do not matter when it comes to long term uh, application of these things. Like long term applied uh, knowledge for this is, I, I'm more bullish than ever, you know, regardless of us being in a bear market or not. So Earth 2 having 5 billion maxed at um, their essence, which is going to be their crypto, uh, I have 30,000 of them, which again, I know is not a ton compared to 5 uh, billion, but I, I have a bunch of money in there waiting uh, to buy more essence when we're able to. So I just thought that was fun as well. Uh, moving on to some other metaverse news. Let's see what we got here. Manchester, Manchester City, I apologize, teams up with Sony to build the metaverse first football stadium. So obviously we have a bunch of those in Earth 2. I think we'll be able to build those in the Vivi-verse as well. But this is, you know, a lot of sports people, a lot of sports people follow Vivi. Um, Rudy Gobert uh, is one of the main ones that we see in the AMAs um, that follow us. But there's a lot of blue check marks there in general, but a lot of footballers uh, and basketball players do follow Vivi, which I thought was very interesting. But again, Manchester City. One of the biggest names in English football and reigning Premier League champions is reportedly building the first, uh, the world's first football stadium inside the metaverse with the help of experts in virtual reality from Sony. Again, didn't Sony just purchase Bungie for X amount of billions of dollars? I think so. Uh, like I said, the bet on the metaverse is real. These companies aren't just spending, yeah, I'll spend, you know, a couple million dollars. I, I think Bandai Namco is spending $130 million, and that's on the low end for the metaverse. You have, uh, you have Sony spending billions to buy Bungie put, to put this metaverse together. Activision Blizzard spending real money of $69 billion. Um, I'm sorry, Microsoft spending that to acquire Activision Blizzard for their metaverse. Comment nice down below for that 69 reference. So again, uh, these companies are not just doing small amounts of money. They're spending real money on this. So I thought this was pretty uh, awesome. Uh, also, moving on, the football club has signed a partnership with Sony, a three-year initiative, and although the project's still in its early stages, teams of specialists from the company have already visited the Etihad Stadium, the home ground of Manchester, to digitally map it and build a VR version of it. If that is not bullish news, I'm not sure what is. Also, more bullish news. The number of small Bitcoin and Ethereum holders hit an all-time high despite waning prices. So, let me go over this real quick. Uh, how to interpret this. Bitcoin goes down to its support level of about 37,000, like going down to a, a pretty low. Uh, not the lowest we've been in the last year. You know, the last year we have gone down as low as like I think 28 or 29,000. But with with Vitalik Buterin showing up at a conference in a bear costume, saying that he wants, you know, um, that the bear market is here. And, you know, fears of, you know, Ukraine and Russia going down, which again, I'll get into in a minute. Um, Outside of, you know, tensions building in in Eastern Europe, you know, with Russia and Ukraine, outside of the fact that President Joe Biden wants to sign an executive order putting regulations on crypto outside of the Fed saying that they're going to raise interest rates. Aside from all of that, you have a bunch of people still getting into crypto. 
That is so heckin' bullish in my mind because you have all this bad, all this negative news and people are finally starting to see through it. I saying like, hey, um, just because X, Y, and Z is happening doesn't mean that this won't work out long term. It doesn't mean that this is something that is going to be, um, you know, bad. Like, I think people are finally starting to wake up and see through and say like, okay, more and more people know that because of 2020, because of 2008, because of 2001, that yeah, um, some things can get bad for like a year. Something you know, we could lose a lot on our investment. I mean, look at look at Omi. I'm down like four hundred fifty thousand dollars in the last uh, in the last month. Am I tripping? No, because I know it's going to go back up. I hope it goes down more so we burn more Omi and I could acquire more at a cheaper price. Um, look at who's buying. A lot of a lot of whales are buying. A lot of normal people are buying. So you know, despite the fact that you know, have all this negative news, you still have people buying. And I think that is that is one of the most heckin' bullish things that I could ever think of. So yeah, uh, let's move on. And, and it's not like they're they're super, super small. They have like 0. 0.00. No, these are people that have that 0. 0.1 Bitcoin and above. Um, the number of Bitcoin addresses holding at least 0. 0.01 coins has reached an all-time high. In particular, the number of such Bitcoin addresses has reached a level of over 9 million. It's 9,483,000. Four, uh, exceeding the previous record reached at the end of January. As a similar situation is also observed in regards to Ethereum holders, thus the number of addresses with a balance of at least 0.1 coins has hit an all-time high of <laughs> 6.9 million. Everyone come on, nice time, love 69. 6,937,986, surpassing the record of the previous day. Okay, like, am I Johnny Depp talking in uh, Once Upon a Time in Mexico saying, if that is an interagency cooperation, I... I just don't know what it is. If that is not bullish news, I just don't know what is. So speaking of Omi token again, if we take a look at Puddin Cheeks's, uh, huh, Cheeks's, take a look at his Omi burns uh, and his spreadsheet update, we can calculate that. Yeah, yesterday wasn't a crazy uh, amount of burn. We had, I, what was it, 900, yes, we had $933,000 go into the app, which is not a ton, uh, but... Having said that, we still burn 98 million OMI. Now, again, we are averaging more than $1 million a day going into this app for the month. That will continue to rise. And even today, we have a quarter million going in. And that's just that's just today. A quarter million went into the app, and it's 10 o'clock in the morning, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, a lot of people are going to get ready for Black Panther tomorrow. They're going to want it, as will I. Uh, so, yeah, this is, like I said, very, 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 very bullish. Okay, we as a crypto market are very, very large and so much money will flow into it this decade. Well, it will this year as well. Uh, but we are not we are not immune to the things that happen outside of the crypto market. Like look at look at news that's outside of crypto. Look at the stock market. Look at look at the price of metal. Look at the price of groceries. Look at look at Again, the Fed, the Fed raising rates, and then look at uh, world news. Live blog from NBC News has Russia dash Ukraine crisis. Putin draws condemnation at emergency UN meeting. I'm not going to get crazy into this right here, but back in 2014, you had uh, East, you had Western Ukraine that wanted to be independent, and Eastern Ukraine's like, nah, we're just going to bomb you. We're just going to, you know, cut off your supply lines. Um, and long story short, it kind of things kind of settled down. Um, and Russia, and, and again, I, I am not, you know, Mr. Pro Putin over here, uh, clearly U S military, you know, but you have to give the devil their due and you have to understand that Putin is a, 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 a gangster. Any of his political opponents just turn up dead. But that being said, uh, where what he's doing right and right can be construed as many different ways is saying that, Hey, um, these ethnic Russians that are in uh, Western Ukraine, I'm sorry, Eastern Ukraine, wants to take care of. He's giving them food. He's giving them, you know, uh, medicine. And and uh, that's just driving them into Russia's arms because the West isn't helping. I mean, Western Ukraine, that is. Um, so there is a very real chance that Putin annexes, you know, Donetsk, Lugansk, more uh, cities in Ukraine. And the U.S. media, the West, everyone is going to have a field day with that. Now, most likely this will be over in a couple of months, but if it's not, you can expect the markets to go down even more. Um, and that would, 
you know, again, Bitcoin, in fact, you know, falls below 35, 29, whatever, and it goes back to like low 20s, uh, you know, expect all of the altcoins to go down like another 50%. Charles, that would be at 0 0.002. You're right, we would be. And I would buy more there. Uh, one last thing uh, is that Ethereum co-founder Vitalik Buterin says crypto builders would welcome a bear market as it would clear out less viable apps. I've talked about this several times saying that if we, in a bear market, why well, I'm excited because apps and cryptos that should not be around, that should not be here, uh, that don't deserve to be here because they're not good businesses and not good cryptos, they will die. Uh, a lot of ones that are okay, uh, you know, they'll, they'll take an 80, 90% hit, but, but they'll survive. Um, and they could figure out what works, what doesn't work. But a lot of the money that's going to flow out of crappy projects are going to flow into good projects like a Comey. Again, again you know, Disney, Warner Brothers, you know, Time Warner, and, and all of these other companies like Marvel, they, they do not hand out their licenses all willy-nilly. And, you know, when, a lot of people mistake this for the Disney app I have before as well. I think Reese has before as well also. Um, this is, you know, I, like I've said this before, as people realize, oh, the only crypto connected to Disney is this one. The only NFTs that Disney are putting out are these NFTs. Uh, again, amid this crisis, every, uh, even the Bond poster sold out in half a second. And I I was not listening to like, every single person that I talked to, or even people that just messaged me is like, yo, when are we going to have better, uh, better drops? I'm, I'm tired of these drops of the Bond poster. It's still sold out in half a second. They could make posters nonstop for months and they would still sell out in half a second um but obviously we have a lot of stuff in between that like we have the bicycle we have black panther tomorrow we have a lot of really cool things um and again we only have marvel comics as of right now i'm pretty sure at some point in the future i'm not saying we get dc comics um but it would make sense we already have a warner brothers dc partnership but you know independent comics would be pretty fun as well i'm a big advocate oh i can't fruits basket um that is a uh manga but anyway, I digress. I'm sorry, one last piece of news before I leave y'all, before I go, uh, is OpenSea hack. Key takeaways on Web3 security. Because OpenSea just had that thing, I would like to, I would like to try to tell everyone, do not just click agree on things when you get an email. Uh, set up 2FA for everything that you do. You know, we should try to make make it so that smart contract audits are popularized and they're a real thing uh, to protect everyone's privacy. You know, if 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 other companies, let's say like, you know, Alluvium uh, or we have companies like Terra Virtua or whoever, or even a Comey say like, hey, we need to uh, do these smart contract audits to make sure that our privacy stays safe. I think we should welcome that. Yeah, just my opinion. Um, everyone, please comment, like, and subscribe. And Look at Hey David Don, at King Mavs Forever on the Twitter, Standoff Chart, and King Mavs over on the app. Kobe Collects and Omi Player One on YouTube, Raythax.eth, wherever you want. Powers of X number one over here, Kobe Collects down here. Kyle Wilson, Wendy Stavalos, Hood and Cheeks, BB Las Vegas, Tabs Trades, Mars Davis, Legacy Bermuda, Sony Pop Media, Charles Markle, VV Darkling, Cavell Anderson, and VV Vibes, all on the YouTube. We've got at Wet Wizard VV and uh, Gary O at 1234CA3, all on the Twitter. DerekRad.com slash page slash VV dash photography and WoundedWarriorProject.org. Guys, say bye bye to Dashi. Bye-bye, Dashie. I love you all. Comment down below if you like this update. All right, goodbye. Meow, 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 meow.